Hello, you've reached the Irene Police Station. You're talking to Officer Ian. What seems to be the problem, darling? A stalker? I see. You've been receiving ominous love letters. Coming home to your place with the door open. And you feel a weird presence following you around? Have you consulted with your landlord about this? Or potentially moving? No money to move? I see. Well, how long has this issue been going on for? A few weeks? Oh my, that must be terrifying for you. Don't worry, once you hand us all of their details, we will start the investigation immediately. Just a black hoodie? And nothing else? That could be a bit... tricky to work with. Do you not have any other descriptions you could provide? Good. <clears throat> Listen, due to the lack of information, I'm afraid I can't proceed with the issue professionally. How about this? Take my number and call me anytime you're feeling unsafe, okay? Think of it as contacting a close friend. My boss would kill me if he caught me doing this, but this is all I can do if you want to stop the stalker. It would take too long for a unit to arrive, so if it's just me, I can come running. Of course, I just want to make sure you're safe. After all, this could impact your upcoming streams even more. Hey, how's the call going? What's that obnoxious sound in the background? You have a friend over, don't you? Hmm. Alright, it's getting late. You should sleep soon. Remember, notify me when something happens. So, what did they say? I've told you to call them numerous times, but... Oh no, I'm just being paranoid. Huh? They just gave you their number. But you literally just called their number. You got an officer's number. Is that even legal? Whatever. At least you have them at your disposal. Holy shit, what was that? It, is the stalker here right now? It, boy, text that cop to come over here right now. I, I can't stay here any longer. Well, Mr. Famous Streamer, if the stalker finds out that I'm affiliated with you, they might come after me too. Huh? Sounds like that cop is nearby. <laughs> they must be patrolling the area. Hello? I got your message. Whoa! Ugh, that's my cue. Don't get yourself caught in something dangerous, bud. Oh, hello, office. Go on. Get out. What? I said, get out. You're no longer needed. O okay. Jeez. Text me later, dude. 
That won't be necessary. <clears throat> hey darling, I saw your text. You said someone broke your window. Oh gosh, there's glass everywhere. You didn't get hurt, did you? What about your equipment? Undress and let me see your injuries. You're fine? Ah, I'm glad. I was ready to perform CPR on you. Cuts don't need CPR? Well, uh, just in case, right? I need to make sure the citizens of this town are alive. That is my job, after all. Anyways, now that the rat is gone, we're both alone in your apartment. Oh, your landlady is out of town, and it seems a lot of your neighbors are absent. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's alright. I'm here to protect you, remember? That stalker won't be able to harm you. I'll use my police officer training to pummel them to the ground and throw them off the balcony. Hmm? How did I find you? What do you mean? Oh, right. Did you forget my job? Of course I know where you live. The population of the town is pretty small, and you're a very memorable person. Huh? Is this... The pile of letters the stalker has been sending you? Ah, you've been keeping them? Her handwriting is so pretty, isn't it? So dedicated to confessing her love for you. You've been getting text messages from her too? When's the last time she sent a text? Yesterday? I see. I think you should unblock her numbers. It could serve as evidence if you let her keep messaging you. Why don't you message back? What if she's not actually a bad person? It's not like you have many friends, right? I'm just giving innocent suggestions is all. So, this stalker has been stalking you for a few weeks, right? Did it start ever since he started streaming? You know, your job. Mm-hmm. You have a very fun job, don't you? Unlike mine, I just sit at my desk all day filing police reports. So exhausting. Did you enjoy the new game you streamed last night? Starfield? A viewer gifted it to you, didn't they? I hope you enjoy the game. I spent a day's pay on it. Oh my, look at the time. 
Did you eat yet? Your favorite restaurant isn't open at this time. I can cook you a quick meal if you'd like. You don't have many ingredients in your fridge, so I brought some food with me. I was hoping we could eat together. Alright, let's head to the kitchen and sit down. <laughs> ah, the knife should be here. Alright, I'm going to make your favorite food. After all, the way to a man's heart is his stomach, right? <laughs> I could have gotten food earlier, but I want to show off my skills. Huh? What's that? Who's texting you at this hour? Your friend from earlier? Ah, Melissa, right? She's so weird, isn't she? She comes over often, and you don't like her. Romantically, right? Hmm... Hearing it come out of your mouth is even more relieving. Wait a minute. This is just a theory. A game theory. What if she's your stalker? I mean, think about it. She owns your spare keys, which could explain leaving the door open. She knows where you live, so she could easily slip in the love letters. And she could most definitely be following you around. She doesn't even have a job at the moment, so what is she spending her free time on? You. I say it's best if you cut ties with her. No other friends? Oh, sweetie, don't be silly. You have me, remember? You don't need her anymore. Hmm, yeah. Don't bother texting her. I'm all you need. Might as well block her. Uh, remember? She may be your friend, but all the evidence points to her. This could be the stop to the stalking and harassment. See? You need to prioritize yourself sometimes. And the stalker situation is clearly causing you distress. Oh, sweetie, do you need to lay down? Should I carry you to bed? Princess style? Aw, maybe next time. Well, while you're blocking her, I'm just gonna continue making food for you. Of course I don't do this for just anyone. You're pretty special to me. You know, we've only met today, and it feels like we've known each other for way longer. Isn't that a special kind of bond? I'm sure you and Melissa took a long time to get to know each other, huh? I just know I'm a lot better than her. In many ways. 
Do you want to find out? Oh, sorry, darling. I guess that's not really appropriate in this kind of situation. Maybe next time. Alright, here you go. A faster and more simplified version of your favorite meal. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. I practice this dish every day. Just for this moment. I'm pretty dedicated to you, you see. And I won't hesitate to prove it. Alright, try it. Or do you want me to feed you? Oh, no appetite? Don't worry, darling. I'll help you eat, okay? Alright, picking up a big spoonful. Now, say, ah. Uh... Mmm, good bite. How is it? It's good? Ah, oh, I'm happy to hear that, sweetie. You know, even though you don't have an appetite in these situations, it's still important for you to eat. I'd love to do this every day. Alright, another bite. Ah. Uh... Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, me? No, darling, I'm fine. I'm not hungry. I already ate earlier. Huh? Another notification from her? I thought I told you to block her. <sighs> You've been second-guessing yourself, haven't you? Hmm. If you really need an eye-opener, I have just the thing for you. Your friend, Mel, have you ever been to her house before? After all these years of friendship, she's never invited you over, huh? Don't you think that's kind of suspicious? Well, you see, the other day, I saw her exit your door and enter the neighboring room. I can't believe she's been living here. In the exact same apartment as you, this entire time without informing you about it. I bet she's been making sure it seems like she lived elsewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of crazy. Well, here it is. Prepare yourself, okay? Oh my god. This... this is crazy. Uh, finally, locksmith. Took you long enough to get that damn door open. I, it, it, it's you. Darling... Look at the walls. It's filled with pictures of you. Are... are these all your missing clothes too? I knew it! The stalker is her! Huh? No, I don't even live here. Then why else would you be in here? Did you break into a random person's place? I... um... 
the door was open and and your first instinct is to walk into it yeah right mel darling i told you she was bad news now let's get her arrested so she can't approach you again you're not even a real cop so you can't arrest me there's no trace of your employment anywhere wait but if he called the police station's number earlier how did you pick up <sighs> she really is so delusional isn't she she got caught and is now making up lies poor thing don't worry honey we'll get you the help you need sweetie I'm sure this is also confusing for you. You can go back and rest in bed. I'll handle it from here. The little mouse fell for the cheese in the trap, hmm? <laughs> I honestly believed in you a little bit. But you just couldn't help but to get curious, huh? What did you do to him? Why is he listening to you like an obedient little dog, you bitch? Because he trusts me now. We're like a married couple already. You know, I never liked you. I didn't like anyone other than him, actually. But your existence was getting in the way of my relationship. With my darling. And to answer your question from earlier, I was actually at the police station trying to report you for your crimes. The officers were out for a smoke break while I was waiting there. I bugged my darling's phone whilst he was asleep so that it would notify me every time he called someone. I wanted to see who he's going to call or who he's receiving calls from. Luckily, since I was at the station at the time of the call, I picked up. <sighs> it was truly fate. And with this, you'll be in prison for a long time. No, please. You can't do this to me. I don't even like him like that. He's, he's just a brother to me. So I swear, if you, you let me leave, I won't tell anyone. Hmm. Yeah, even so, I don't want you around him anymore. And with that loud voice of yours, I doubt you'd keep your mouth shut. No hard feelings, babe. If they see who owns this room, they'll know it's you. T take that. Hmm. I don't know about that. I informed the landlady a while ago that I changed my name. To Melissa Crookey. Does that name sound familiar? I also replaced all the renter files with your personal documents, so this place is no longer affiliated with me. Luckily, she's an old lady. She already forgot my face. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. Have fun living a miserable life in prison, Melissa. And by prison, I mean that empty, soundproof room. Where no one can hear you scream. Rod in hell.
Oh, darling, since I don't have a place to live now, do you mind if I move in with you? Oh, I currently have a rodent problem. And you have a spare room, right? Great, I'll start moving in tonight. But how about we finish eating dinner, hmm? I'll even bake a cake to celebrate the end of your stalker. <laughs>